You have Gabriel Flores Jr. against Joe Sec Ruiz. So, I mean, look, Gabe Flores Jr. was the youngest fighter ever to sign with top rank before another one of my clients, Xander Zayas, did it uh, last year. Look, he is 17 and 0, um, only six KOs. He's 20 years old. But Gabriel Flores has been on a slow and steady climb. Excellent boxer, excellent, excellent skill set, excellent ring generalship, excellent ring IQ. Uh, he's, you know, he's displayed that he's able to make adjustments. He doesn't lack confidence. Uh, his father, Gabriel Flores Sr., um, really, you know, they have a great chemistry. Uh, I know them, uh, and I just know that, uh, you know, Flores is, you know, continuing to look to make a name for himself. Now, I know that they're fighting as lightweights, and it's pr probably probably because uh, it's a little bit of a catchweight. I, I don't suspect Flores is moving up to 135. I would suspect that he's still going to pursue a world title opportunity at 130 pounds. However, this particular fight um, is taking place uh, in the lightweight division, and he is fighting... Uh, like I said, Josec Ruiz, 21 and 2, 14 KOs from Honduras. And um, look, I think that this is just another test for Gabriel Flores to, to come out and show his skills on television. Uh, you know, this is um, a scheduled uh, 10 round fight. So uh, I, you know, I, I would suspect um, really to uh, to see Gabriel Flores uh, just outbox, um, you know, to just to just outbox uh, Josec Ruiz for ten rounds. Um, I, you know, I don't know if we're going to get a stoppage, but I, I would tell you that uh, right now, if you want to look at the odds according to Bet Online. Once again, uh, Flores is the biggest favorite of the week at minus 4,131. So if you have $4,131 you want to put down in order to win 100 to Ruiz at plus $1,631, uh, basically as the underdog, I mean, this is, there's zero line value here. So if you're going to bet on this fight, my recommendation is pass. Flores is going to come out and outbox Ruiz en route to what I feel will be uh, an easy 10-round decision.